welcome to Retro Bowl. Hi. 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 And welcome to Public Church. Hello, welcome to Public Church. Hello, I'm Jason. Welcome to Public Church. <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> Hi! Hello! Welcome to Family Church. Um, this is Abby. Hello! And this is Kibale. It's really nice to have you guys back today. Awesome! We hope you enjoyed last week's story. We learned about some of your favorite books. We saw Ellie's favorite book. And Ethan and Aiden's favorite book and Zikomo and Zaburi yeah I hope you enjoyed that story so for today we'll continue with God's big story yeah and wasn't he there right, right at the beginning he was how old do you think God is he must be very very old maybe like Adrian's age yeah no old maybe older than Adrian Father Christmas Santa? Mm, 200? What do you think? Uh, I don't know how long ago the start of the earth was. Uh huh. So many. If, you, uh -huh, if you are to, to guess. Trillions of years. Trillions of years old. Ah. Older than my daddy. He's older than your daddy? Oh, okay. My dad's only six. Your dad's only six. So God must be older than your daddy. Yeah. All right, Cory. How could your dad be six? Dads are not actually, dads are not normally six. They're older than six. They might be 13 or 10. But hey, Sam. How old do you think God is? A billion. A billion years? Do you think he's older than your grandma? Of course. Of course he is. Hmm. Do you think he's older than who's the oldest person you know? God? Okay. And how old do you think God is? How old do you think God is? Two hundred? Two or one? Um, how old do you think God is? Infinity. He's forty thousand four hundred and infinity and billion forty five. He is. He is really old. Yeah. So we've been looking at this story about God, and he goes back way back in time. Yeah. We're going to be looking at some of the things that happened. There's some sad bits in there, aren't there? Yeah. People don't listen and. Oh, Oh, hey, Mr. Elephant! Hi! How are you doing? Oh! Oh! That's oh, so wow! Nice. Is this some new music? Oh, cool! Oh, I wow. think it's time to dance! Should we do some dancing? Everyone get up! Up, 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 up! <laughs> for him Moses led his people through the sea taking them away from slavery the Lord was good the Lord was strong and Moses lived his life for him
take away our sin So we could get to know our God again The Lord is good, the Lord is strong And we will live our lives for Him These are so cool! Thank you! Yeah, the, are these new? Where did you get these headphones from? What? They're not yours? <gasps> you, where did you get them? Did you say sorry? You took them from somebody without asking? 
Okay. Oh. <gasps> that is not good. Mm. You've made that person really sad. Yeah. Oh dear. And you didn't listen. You didn't ask. I think you need to go and give them back. Yeah. Do you think that he should go and give them back? Yeah. yeah. So now we'll have the story. Watch this. God's big story, the fall of man. Let's go way back, way back to the very beginning before the world. There was God. The world was empty and it had nothing. Darkness filled it. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light and then he went around creating everything you see you know the day and the night water and sky the plants on the land the stars the birds the animals and finally the most amazing creation of them all people God saw that it was all very good he was happy with what he had done. He placed the people in a beautiful garden. He told them to take care of it and eat any fruit they liked. Name them. Bananas and apples and oranges, watermelon, cherries, pineapples, any fruit from any tree in the garden apart from one, just one. The fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden. God told them not to even touch it. Don't even go near it, he said. Do you think this was going to be easy for them? Well, let's continue and find out. So Adam and Eve, the people that God had created, really enjoyed being in the garden. They gave names to the animals, they played by the river. As they looked after the plants, they had an amazing time being there. And best of all, they always talked to God every day because they were very, very good friends. But you know what? One day, something really, really sad happened. Adam and Eve went against what God had told them. They touched the tree in the middle of the garden and not just that, they even ate of its fruit. Oh no, oh no. This is the exact same thing God had told them not to do. This broke God's heart. He was so, so sad that they had not listened to him. And because of what they had done, God asked them to leave his garden. Adam and Eve would no longer be there. They would still be God's friends, but because of the wrong they had done, they could no longer be right there with him. But you know what? The story doesn't end there. God still loved them. God never stopped loving them. He wanted to be with them, so he made a plan 
on how he would make the whole world right with him again. He made a promise that someday their broken relationship would be mended. God still loved them. And God still loves us even when sometimes we do bad things. Wow, that was an interesting story. Yeah, yeah. People didn't listen yeah. and then they were really sad. Yeah. But throughout the whole of it, God still loved them. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. <gasps> Did you take those um, earphones back to Esther? Was she oh. angry with you? Oh dear, is she still your friend? You gave her a hug oh. and she gave you a hug back. Oh, oh. that's so oh, that's good. Really nice. And that's the same thing in the story that God never stopped loving Adam and Eve even though they didn't listen to him and they ate the fruit that they shouldn't have. And in the same way, God does not stop, stop loving you even when you do the things you're not supposed to. So God still loves you, Mr. Elephant. Yes, he does. Even though you took the <laughs> earphones without asking. Yes. <laughs> Family chat time. the book of Psalm chapter 136 verse 1 and it's about God loving us forever and ever and ever okay are you ready give, give thanks, thanks to the Lord for he, he is good and his love lasts last forever, forever. <laughs> Cross.
Craft Time. Hi guys, today we're going to learn about the love of Jesus and the love that Jesus has for us. Yeah? So sometimes we end up doing some really bad things. Um, like for example, if you steal something and take something that is not yours, do you know what happens when we do that? We move a little further away from Jesus. But if we do something good, like sharing what we have, you know what happens? We move closer back to Jesus. But something we need to remember is that even if we do bad things, Jesus still loves us. So here we go. What do you need? You will need a piece of paper. We need some crayons, um, a marker pen, and yeah, just that. So what we do, we want to fold the paper, take the paper, fold it in half like this. Fold it in half and then fold it again. Take one side of the paper, like the first half. So you, you're going to fold it to have three parts in the first in the first half. So you can fold it like uh, this the first time. And then fold the back side again like that. So you have that fold like that. And then do the same thing with this other side. Um, your parents should help you do this or whoever you're watching this with. Um, so fold half, half of it. Then make the other fold. Alright. So you should have your paper something like this. Yeah. So once you have your paper looking like this, what you do, you're going to open one side of the paper right here. And right here you're going to write Jesus. So just turn the paper around so you have your paper looking like this. This part you're going to write Jesus and this part you're going to write me. Then you draw a big love heart around it. Yeah. So for example, um, I'm going to write right here. I'm going to write Jesus. Loves, draw a big love heart. Then, um, write me or write your name. So, Rich, I can write my name is Kibali. Right? Something like this. So, for the parents, the paper on top is the uh, one paper, then the, all the other folds are on the lower side. Then you can color that love heart. There we go. So it's Jesus loves Kibali. Or Jesus loves, say your name, right? Okay, then you're going to read what are some of the bad things that we do. So for example, maybe we, we don't tell the truth, so we lie. So when I lie, I'm going to write right here, lie. Do you know what happens when you don't tell the truth and you lie? Do you know what happens? You said you move a little bit further away from Jesus, but he still loves you, right? So I'm going to color my lie with blue because I think it's a blue lie. But sometimes I do some good things like if I share what I have. So for the share, we're going to put it right here in the middle. Uh, for the parents, we are using this, uh, this side, so we're going to use the opposite side. Uh, so let me write the word share. Then the word share, I'm going to color it with yellow. If I share what I have, I move closer. To Jesus and remember he still loves me his color red has not yet changed and sometimes I go a bit further than just sharing and you know what I help my friend maybe with their work or with um, something they need help with
if I help if I help somebody who is in need, I'm also sharing the love of Jesus with them. And I'm also reminded that Jesus still loves me. So do you know what happens at the end? When I do the things that make Jesus happy, I move closer to Jesus, but his love for me does not change. Jesus loves me all the time. So we're going to move one step closer to Jesus, just like that, to remind us that Jesus will always love us, no matter what. Jesus will always love you, no matter what. All right, kids, let's pray. Okay, let's pray. Dear God, thank you for loving me even when I do bad things. Amen. Okay, guys, it looks like it's time for us to say goodbye. Oh, oh, don't be sad, Mr. Elephant. We can come back next week. Yay! Yay! We hope you enjoyed today. We will see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.
the secret. <laughs>